Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in iMovie and I've got a quick iMovie tip for you today. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to add voiceover to your videos within iMovie. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up iMovie and get your movie pulled up that you want to add a voiceover to. So I've got a nice video here of one of my tutorials up, okay, and I want to add voiceover to a certain spot of my video. Now, the first thing you want to do is locate the spot where you want the voiceover to start at. So if you need to, go ahead and pan through your video and get where you want the audio to begin and you want the audio to end. Now, in order to add a voiceover, you will need to click on the microphone icon down here in the center of the uh, interface of iMovie. It says record a voiceover. Click on that microphone. Once you do that, you will see a voiceover panel come up here, kind of like an inspector panel here, and you can adjust a few things. You can adjust whether you record from a built-in microphone or an input. So if you have a microphone, USB, or otherwise, you can go ahead and select that from that menu. You can also adjust the input volume. So if you see that it's pegging out here and it's up in the red, you may need to go ahead and lower the input volume just a little bit. You can also add a little noise reduction down here by adjusting this slider right here. Now voice enhancement is checked automatically, just leave that alone. And anyways, you can go ahead and, and select or deselect the play project audio while recording. Now I don't normally have that checked because I like to record my voiceover without hearing what's going on in the background. So what you can do is move that out of the way. Once you have that panel out of your way, you then need to go ahead and click on the clip where you want to start the voiceover. So if I know I want to start my voiceover right at 41 seconds, I will just click on that location there, just like this right here, and it will then start a timer to one go. So now I'm recording a voiceover, and you can see that by the red that is highlighting over my video. Anywhere that the red is highlighting over, that is where the voiceover will now be. Okay, so now in order to stop the voiceover process, press the spacebar. Once you do that, a option will come up, and it'll say you have modified your project. If you have shared this project, you'll need to go ahead and reshare it. If you are pleased with your voiceover, you can click on OK. If you are not, you can click Undo, and it will delete the voiceover. Now if I click OK, go back over to where my voiceover is, turn the volume back up just a little bit. First and foremost, obviously in the now you will be able to hear there where my voiceover will be just right where this is. Now, if I see that I need to adjust the location of my voiceover, just like anything within iMovie, you can click where the little hand comes up over voice recording. You can click it and hold it, and you can actually take the voiceover and move it where you want to move it, okay? Also, you can click on the little gear icon here, just like so. Click on the gear icon. Oh, one second here. Click on the gear icon. It'll show you a few options that you can do within your voiceover. You can also go in and adjust the voiceover's length and duration by clicking on the ends of it and clicking and dragging it within. Uh, so you can do that within the voiceover as well. Now, guys, if you have any questions on how to do this within iMovie, put them in the comment box below. Uh, if you did like this video and it helped you out, don't forget to like the video below. Hit the thumbs up button. If you want more great content like this, go ahead and subscribe to my my channel and guys as always thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see you guys next time